the constitution does not make two classes of citizens belong it makes only one class people of india let us start you know, i am amazed to say that we are not equal as if we must continue to be treated as those millard who are tainted or stigmatized that is the mindset today start from the individual community oh. forge the integrity of a nation how can you do it when you say that these individuals are not equal we are born with this you know i i am pained to read which is touted in the paper every day that this is an elitist concept this is what the affidavit of the application says every newspaper carries it now that this urban elitist concept you know i when i was doing some research i found that nero the roman emperor in ad 54 or 58 he married twice two men in that time and he told the imperial court please recognize this marriage my lord justice chandrachu they referred to lord the origin of lord ayappa i found it very interesting i read it how was lord ayappa born my lord a union of two gods lord shiva and lord vishnu but lord vishnu in the role of mohini my lord i'll deal with this briefly these interventions so my lord i want to first establish that we have a fundamental right my lord to get married have it recognized by the state and have it registered like our brethren in the heterosexual majority group in society if my lord we are right then my lord certain rights flow from that status of marriage some of it was being explained my lord like pensions like my lord there are some income tax provisions gifts many other things apart from status in society that is most important but i was amazed to hear the other side saying my lord that we are not equal i heard this submission that we are not equal to the brethren of the heterosexual group it's an astounding statement coming below from a state the constitution does not make two classes of citizens below it makes only one class people of india let us start below i am amazed to say that we are not equal as if we must continue to be treated as those below who are tainted or stigmatized that is the mindset today that mindset continues and therefore it is important for this court to step in because my lord it has removed one obstacle of 377 but after that where that stigmatization continues and this my lord is reflective of the stand being taken by no less than a state that where is your equality where are you equal my lord let us first start very briefly to have a look and remind ourselves on the preamble of this constitution my friend said how are you equal we became equal in 1950 have a look at the preamble and then my lord i will shortly show the discussion on the preamble in puttu swami in the opinion of this <coughs> lord sri milad jassi chandu but first i will show to lord sri milad the preamble and the lord sri no milad preamble was held to be a part of the constitution in keshavan bharti it is intrinsic to the understanding of the ethos and the philosophy of the constitution and my lord all these articles 14 19 15 21 really flow my lord or are adjuncts of this preamble kindly see my lord the fundamental rights are mentioned here see. we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialistic secular democratic republic we are more concerned with secular in the context in which we are placed below to secure to all citizens justice liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship see the articles below which will be involved in this liberty of thought and expression article 19 article 21 also 
because the right to have dignity to live live a full life faith and worship religion secular pluralistic it will go to article 25 29 equality of status and opportunity the implementing provision will be 14 15 and 16 which are not a triangle not the golden triangle but a triangle be between themselves 14 15 and 16 and then to promote among them all fraternity so justice liberty equality will allow my lord promotion of fraternity fraternity my lord is brotherhood community interest assuring these words are prophetic now assuring the dignity of the individual now my lord this dignity sits in article 21 in terms of puttu swami dignity an adjunct of privacy it sits in article 21 and the unity and integrity of the nation this is very important so it is not my lord only dealing with these individual rights it says that justice liberty equality will promote fraternity what will it do it will assure the dignity of the people of india or the citizens of india give them the full panoply of rights under article 21 and 1419 etc and the unity and integrity my lord unity and integrity is a far higher concept than mere individuals so it will coalesce my lord I will have Mr. Mr. Dhruvji. The, the, there are two words in the preamble which have not been dealt with too too often, which is and to secure to all of its citizens. Yes, yes. The first part says to secure to all its citizens. Correct. I'm great. Secure means to enable them to have the protection of or enjoyment yes, of these rights. Yes, yes. So affirmatively. Is, right. Affirmatively. Not affirmatively. And that is individual. Yes. Now the latter part says and to promote among them all. that's very important. all my lord so it goes beyond the individual yes so all means the entire society which consists my lord of citizens having different views different hues different color different religion but we will treat them under one umbrella they will form my lord and forge the unity of this nation why was unity important because we had just come after a partition so it will forge my lord all people together as one unit but having dissimilarities and the pluralistic or secular society accepts and understands diversity plurality multilingual multi faith multi religion multicultural that was the concept or not so justice to each of us liberty to each of us equality to each of us and fraternity fraternity among us i am grateful i am very grateful the important so my lord individual Mr. community rodgi citizens important. and the nation important. this is the sweep sorry master i am so very sorry important expression here which uh, connects at the lowest level to the unity of the country is the individual yes hmm. the individual to the nation correct i am very grateful in the context of uh, dignity is connected to individual yes and unity is con con how will you have unity it is in the law yeah and yes. no, individual is a very sir, I'm sorry, I'm one nothing to on merits the artificial intelligence has changed mr rodgi into dr singhvi Your arguments are recorded as Dr. Singhvi's arguments. Oh, please correct me. Cleaned up by the evening. Yeah. By the yeah. please, I will correct it. You know, you get more memos. I may get more briefs if it's my argument, <laughs> not somebody else's. <laughs> I don't think either of you need too many more briefs. <laughs> no, I said in a lighter way. We did not say it right. Not we start from the individual community, oh. forge the integrity of a nation. how can you do it when you say that these individuals are not equal we are born with this you know i i am pained to read which is touted in the paper every day that this is an elitist concept this is what the affidavit or the application says every newspaper carries it not that this urban elitist concept 
you know, I, when I was doing some research, I found that Nero, the Roman emperor in AD 54 or 58, he married twice, two men in at that time. And he told the imperial court, please recognize this marriage. My Lord Justice Chandrachu referred to the origin of Lord Ayappa. I found it very interesting. I read it. How was Lord Ayappa born? Without a union of two gods, Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu, but Lord Vishnu in the role of Moini. I mean, it's very, very interesting, Lord. Therefore, nothing is absolute. The, uh, the, the solicitor talked about Milad, the transgenders. Transgenders is only T out of LGBT. It's only T. LGBT is not considered Milad, with the transgenders. So therefore, Milad, these concepts change. I also heard him say, whether the court decides, whether the parliament decides, doesn't matter. It's the society which decides, something like that. Milad, take the Hindu widow's right to remarriage act. 1860 something. The society was not ready, Milad, for widows' remarriage till even early 90s. You have those widows' houses, Milad, in Matra. Before 1956, bigamy was not. Uh, my Lord, uh, my Lord. But Milad, the, the 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 Dominion Parliament in the 1800s moved far ahead of the society and allowed Milad the Hindu uh, widows to remarry. But sometimes the mindset still don't change. It didn't change, Milord, even till early 1900s, even till 1920s, 30s, and you have those homes, Milord, in, in uh, Mathura. So sometimes, Milord, Parliament or the, the Legislative Assembly acts more with more alacrity. Sometimes it acts, Milord, with less alacrity. But here, we have moved on. We have moved on, your Lordship's declaration, to remove, Milord, the obstacle in our way from achieving all this was only one. The, that is, insofar as the state is concerned, was 377. The second is the mindset. And all this which is argued is actually reflective of that mindset. Heterosexual majority is the only one. That's the only way life is. That's the only way it should be. That's the only way it should be seen. And that is the only way, my lord, marriage must be seen. That, my lord, with great respect, your lordships have said, that the majoritarian, majoritarian way must give way to the constitutional freedoms. Can't be that what majority is doing is correct and therefore you squash the rights of the others. All this is Lord, a part of the judgment which I quickly showed you, Lord. I am not adding anything, Lord, except this, some research I had done, Lord, for all this. But otherwise, this is all, Lord, documented. In society today. No, Lord, let's, my friend is right. See, my lord, my lord, the chief justice referred to this fact. Navtej came, my lord, five years ago. In five years, we have seen a perceptible difference as to how people view, my lord, people of our community, if you call it that way. Not fully. Some stigma is still there, as I said in public spaces, etc. That stigma can only be removed by a declaration of the court just as we had a declaration in Navtej. We will not see one more thing. It's not only our rights. Look at the rights of our parents. I don't know if we will not see that. I read an article. By Mr. Vivek Arju. I yes. That, yes. I read the article by him. In the Indian Express. Yes. I will pass it on to your Arshim Lord if it is not there. I read an article. So rights of others are also involved. Rights of parents. How to treat their children. How to treat them in their society, that is the elder society, in their fraternity. People ask me, Lord, what do your children do? Where are they? Etc. Etc. So the rights of others, that is, my Lord, one below and one above. Children and the parents. So rights of many, my Lord, are under interplay when you are deciding, my Lord, the rights of these people. That's how, my Lord, it carries on.